Okay, in this video, I'll show you guys how to figure out the trig function values by using reference triangles. And this time, we are using radians as our angles. Anyway, first of all, this is cosecant of negative pi over 3. And remember, we have to come up with a picture first. And we have to know what the angle is so we can turn, right? And of course, we can just change this from radians to degrees because we know Know, how to draw it in terms of degrees much better than radius. And to do so, we can just write this down, negative pi over 3, and then we multiply this by 180 degrees over pi. So that, you see, the pi and pi cancel. And this is essentially negative 180 divided by 3, and we get negative 60 degrees. And of course, we can just now look at this you know, negative 60 degrees and then draw the picture. And of course, they are the same thing. Now, here is the picture. We are starting off with the positive x-axis like this. And this time, the angle is negative, so that means we have to turn clockwise. Okay? So I would just turn this much. Let's say that's negative 60 degrees. And I would just put in my reference triangle right here. And don't forget, here is my original terminal side. And I'll just have to squeezing a special red triangle, right, like this. Like that. Okay? And remember, negative 60 degrees looks like this. But if you're talking about a reference angle, we'll just take this to be positive 60 degrees. Okay? And the most important thing is that you have to know the location of the reference triangle so that you know the sides are either positive or negative you know, for the x value and the y values. But anyway, 60 is 30 right here. So of course, this side here will be 1. And that's positive 1 because we are on the right-hand side for the x value. And this is going to be square root of 3. But since it's going down, so this is negative square root of 3. And for the hypotenuse, for the r right here, it's just 2, right? So that's the picture. And once again, I didn't write down negative 60 degrees because I'm talking about a reference triangle here, okay? So in the end, we can just say, okay, cosecant of negative pi over 3. And of course, I have to refer back to the original question, so that's why I put this down like this. We can look at this picture for it. Remember, cosecant is the same as 1 over sine, and sine is y over r. Therefore, cosecant is r over y r is 2, y is negative, square root of 3. So this is pretty much it. Of course, we can just multiply the top and bottom by square root of 3 to rationalize the denominator. And that's put on the negative first, and then on the top is 2 square root of 3. On the bottom, 3 times 3. In the square root, still, just gets 3, like this. Right? Square root 3 times square root 3, gets 3. Anyway, that's it. Now, Cotangent of 3 pi over 4. Do the same thing. Here is the angle in radians. Let's put that down, 3 pi over 4. And we multiply this by 180 degrees over pi. So that the pi and pi will cancel, and then we can just work this out. So you can reduce first. 4 goes into 4 one time, 4 goes into 180. 45 times, and then 3 times 45, it's going to be 135, and that's in degrees now. So, to draw a picture based on this, it's the same as drawing a picture for 135 degrees. Here is the picture. We have the x-axis and the y-axis. Starting from the past the x-axis right here, turn 135 degrees. From here to here is 90 already. To get to 135, we have to go 45 degrees more. So it's going to be like that. Remember, this much is 45 degrees. And let me just connect the dots like this. Well, actually, there's no dots, but like, you, know, <laughs> and you know the idea. Here's the terminal side. And we know this was 45 degrees, right? But we care about this angle. That's the reference angle. And that's another 45 degrees. So we can make a total of 180 from here to here, right? And now we can put in our uh, reference triangle, and that's a special triangle as well. Here is the picture for it. And we're talking about 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. 
So the sides will be one right here, and that's positive, right? Because it's above the x-axis. And here it's going to be one as well, but it's negative, right? Because it's on the left-hand side. And then for the hypotenuse, it's square root of two. Okay, so to do the cotangent of three pi over four. This right here is equal to x over y. So I will legitimately put it down as negative 1 over 1. Okay? Cotangent is x over y. And now we have this. Of course, we can just work this out, which is you know, negative 1 in the end. Just like that. Lastly, we have cosine of 11 pi over 6. So, same strategy. Let's change 11 pi over 6 in 2 degrees by multiplying this by 180 degrees over pi. And we see pi and pi cancel, and we can reduce this. 6 goes into 6 one time. 6 goes into 180 30 times. 11 times 30 is 330, and that's in degrees. And now here is the picture. And once again, start off with the positive x-axis. Turn counterclockwise, so you see from here to here is 180, and from here to here is 270. I need to get to 330, so I have to turn 60 degrees more, like that. Okay, I have to turn 60 degrees more to get to 330. And here is the terminal side, it's going to look like this now. And with that being said, this little angle, which is our reference angle, this is 30 degrees. And let's put down the special right triangle for the reference triangle, which is right here now. 30 degrees, you go away, this will be 1, but it's down below, so it's negative 1. This is 60 degrees, so this side is past the square root of 3, because it's you know, on the right hand side. Hypotenuse 2. Look at this picture. Do the cosine. Cosine of 11 pi over 6. Cosine is x over r. So we just have square root of 3 over 2. And then we are done. Okay? So hopefully you guys like this video to be helpful. And you, can guess, you guys can watch my next video. I'll show you guys how to figure out the trig function values at quadrantal angles. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. I like to make math videos for you guys. Anyway. That's it.